In this lecture, we will calculate the bilateral Laplace transform of unit impulse signal. So our time domain signal Ft is equal to unit impulse signal delta T. And let's say the corresponding Laplace transform is represented by Fs. And we know the Laplace transform Fs is equal to integration from minus infinity to infinity. We are having the range of integration from minus infinity to infinity because we are calculating the bilateral Laplace transform and we will integrate the corresponding time domain signal which is delta t multiplied to the integral kernel of the Laplace transform which is e power minus st. Now we will focus on delta t multiplied to e power minus st. We can write delta t as delta t minus 0 and we will write e power minus st as it is and we know one property of impulse signal according to the property if there is a signal xt multiplied to delta t minus t1 then this t here will be replaced by t1 so we have xt1 multiplied to delta t minus t1 we will use this property here you can see t1 is equal to 0 so we will put 0 here and after this we have delta t minus 0 which i will write delta t multiplied to e power 0 and e power 0 is equal to 1 so we finally have delta t now we will calculate the bilateral laplace transform it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity in place of delta t e power minus st we will write delta t only so we are integrating delta t from minus infinity to infinity and this will give us the total area of delta t from minus infinity to plus infinity and we know the total area of delta t is equal to 1 and the total area is present at the origin and origin is included between minus infinity to plus infinity so the total area we are going to get is equal to 1. So the result of integration is equal to 1. So in this way we have fs equal to 1. So we have calculated the Laplace transform of delta t. The Laplace transform of delta t is equal to 1. And now we will understand what will be the region of convergence for the Laplace transform of delta t and it is very interesting to find out the region of convergence for this particular Laplace transform we will simply use the definition of ROC I gave you the definition of ROC in the earlier lectures I told you the region of convergence or ROC is the region in S plane in which the Laplace transform is finite and in this case we are having the Laplace transform equal to 1 which is finite and it is always going to be finite therefore we will have the region of convergence entire S plane because we will always have the Laplace transform as a finite value so entire S plane will be the region of convergence because for all the values of sigma we are going to get finite Laplace transform and hence we can say that for all the values of sigma Laplace transform will exist and as we are having all the values of sigma entire S plane will be the region of convergence. So this is all for the first basic signal which is unit impulse signal. Remember its Laplace transform it is equal to 1 and the region of convergence which is entire S-plane.